Welcome back to Coin Mojo. Today I want to talk about Indian head pennies. Last week I showed you seven pennies that I picked up at a jewelry store when I cashed in some scrap gold. I've been collecting pennies or coins since I was a child. Uh, last week I added these seven and I had already accumulated several more throughout the years. I've been coin roll hunting since 2005, and in 2009 I kicked into high gear when I was laid off from work. Um, I only coin roll hunt half dollars primarily, but in 2009 I expanded my coin roll hunting to pennies, nickels, dimes, and quarters. And I did have some success with finding Indian head pennies here and there, but very few and far in between. I had some boxes where I pulled three pennies out of, or I picked up customer roll uh, pennies at at the bank and managed to score a Indian head penny here and there. So over the year, you're looking at years, you're looking at 66 in total, seven of which I picked up last week. Most of these pennies are in uh, G4, VG8, or F12 condition. The bulk of them are in G4. We're going to uh, talk about condition and value in a minute here. I'm going to show you the red book, and we're going to look at and do some minor research on Indian head pennies so that we can get an idea of what I got here. And... Um, as you can see, most of these pennies are pretty well worn. Uh, the VG8 condition is when you can faintly see the word liberty on the headdress of the Indian. Uh, G4, there is no none of the word liberty visible. And of F12, or fine, the word liberty is mostly visible. So there are a couple of these pennies that do have the full Liberty headdress visible. But like I said, the bulk of them are are just G4. And like that one, it's pretty ratty. Um, some of these pennies I found as a kid just digging in the dirt, I'm sure. And you can tell by some of them that even though I didn't clean them, they have been cleaned. Um... I'm still uh, happy with uh, my results of my penny book fill today. Um, you're going to see that I filled probably half a book here. None of these coins, again, are above a F12, I would say. And I would have thought that that would be a better grade on some of them, but after looking and doing some minor research, I can tell that it's not, none of these are very valuable or in very good condition. Uh, the bulk of these pennies are in the $3 range if you go by the Red Book. Um, I'm sure that a dealer wouldn't give me three $3 a piece for them. That one right there looked like it was pretty nice, that 2000 or 1907. 1908 was the last year for the Indian, uh, well, 1909, but 1908 was pretty much the last uh, year for Indian. They did do some 1909s, but a very small amount in about the 1 million uh, range. And would be very valuable if you found one. So in 1908, they did have an S mint mark, and I do not have any of those. So coming up, you're going to see the penny book that I picked up for a dollar. Um, I go to garage sales and coin shows, and if I see a coin book or anything coins, I'll pick it up, especially if it's a dollar. So we're going to look at the... Uh, the values and condition in the red book here. Um, these are from 1898 to 1909. As you can see, a G4, VG8, or F12 condition are $3, 4 and $5. For 
respectively. And um, the bulk of what I have in the early 1900s is in the VG-8 condition. Between 1887 and 1897, almost all of the coins I have are G4, so those are all $3 coins. Um, last week I did pick up the 1894 at the jewelry store. Um, it doesn't look like it's a double die. If it was, it would be a $30 coin, but it's still a $5 coin. So here we see that the Indian head design was first issued in 1859. It's actually a representation of Liberty wearing an Indian headdress, not an actual Native American. The first year featured a laurel wreath on the reverse. This was changed after one year to the oak wreath with a small shield. A G4 condition, no Liberty is visible on the headdress. A VG8 is very good. Uh, at least some of the letters in Liberty are readable on the headband and F12 is fine and the Liberty is mostly visible. Um, I guess maybe there might be one or two that would go higher than that, but I don't want to get uh, too far ahead of myself. Here's the, the first year, or this is the oak wreath on the back, started in 1860. That's the 1854 that, or 1894. I wanted to put a little magnet on there to kind of show you that it isn't a double die. So this was the first year that, uh, the oldest one that I have was 1887 or 1884, it's actually a $7 coin. The 1887 is a $3 coin. Both of those were VG, or uh, the actually the 1887, 1884 was a VG, 8. A uh, G4 was the 1887. These next two or three were all G4s, $3 range, 1890 was a G4. This was a coin that I didn't have prior to last week, so that one filled the hole. The first one that we saw filled the hole that I didn't have. Uh, the 1891 was also picked up at the jewelry store, and that filled the hole. Uh, this 1894 is the one that has a double die variety. 1895, 96, and 97 are all G4 condition, so those are all $3 coins. Eighteen ninety seven is a four dollar coin because you can see some of the the word liberty on there, so that takes it to a VG eight. This eighteen ninety eight G four eighteen eighty nine G four three dollar coin. The nineteen hundred looks like it was clean, but it it could could just be. I'll take it. It's in the book. It looks good. It's the best condition one that I had. So now we're looking at the 1903. I actually had 11 copies of the 1903, and not one of them was above a G4. 1904. You can see some. You can barely see the word Liberty. I'm going to call it a G4, but if it was a G8, it'd still only be a $3 uh, coin. This is the 1905. You can make out part of the word Liberty on the headdress. The 1906, the Liberty is clearly visible, but it's it's partially in this 1907, probably the best condition coin that I have out of the bunch. 1908, uh, you can kind of make out the word Liberty, so we're going to go with a VG8 on that one. Uh... That's pretty much it for filling the book. I covered two pages. Uh, I mean, I covered one full page. Uh, the other half of the book is empty. This is the balance of the coins that I have. And uh, that's, that's it for the book fill. I got halfway through it. I think I did pretty good. Um, it only took me 60 years to get to that. If you like the video, press like. 
if you want, subscribe and push that bell. Make a comment or share if you like. Thanks for watching.